Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to Sleepy Voyages, the podcast where dreams and stories weave together to guide you to the serene shores of sleep. I'm your host, Ira. I'm so glad to be with you, sharing in this moment of relaxation and self-discovery. Whether you're tucked up in bed, preparing to dream, or if you're sitting quietly, ready for a mindful journey, I invite you to settle in, find your comfort, and allow my voice to accompany you on tonight's voyage. Our story for this episode is a classic tale that transcends time, a beautiful narrative imbued with so much wisdom and wonder. Tonight, we'll be journeying through the enchanting land of Oz. So, whether you've just hit your pillow or you're getting ready to close your eyes, I hope you're as excited as I am to embark on this journey together. We're not just setting out for a tale of magic and adventure, but we're also embarking on a journey of self-discovery. Just as Dorothy, our brave protagonist, learns about her own strength and potential, so too will we explore the endless possibilities that lie within us. So, my dear listeners, as we prepare to begin... I invite you to let go of your worries, soften your focus, and be present in this moment. Let's make this an opportunity to wind down and embark on an unforgettable journey. Let's make this a time to grow, to learn, and to find peace. Welcome to Sleepy Voyages. Welcome to the land of Oz. Now, dear voyagers, tonight's journey is not only intended to gently rock you into the realm of dreams, but also to shine a soft light on a path we all travel in our lives. The path I'm talking about is one of self-discovery. You see, tonight, we will wander down the yellow brick road together, immersing ourselves in the enchanting world of a classic story, The Wizard of Oz. A story so well-loved, so deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness, and yet beneath its charming exterior, It carries profound lessons about finding ourselves. Now, as we embark on this journey alongside our young protagonist, Dorothy, we'll encounter various characters, each representing different aspects of human nature and the human experience. You may find yourselves relating to them in surprising ways, reflecting on the wisdom of the scarecrow, the empathy of the tin man, or the courage of the lion. Through the narrative of The Wizard of Oz, we'll learn to view our own lives through a prism of self-discovery. Just like Dorothy, we might find that the qualities we yearn for or admire in others are often already within us, waiting to be realized. And so, as we tread down this path, with each step, may we awaken a part of ourselves that helps us understand who we truly are, who we can be, in this life that's often more magical and mysterious than we take the time to realize. Remember, dear listeners, this story isn't just about a girl's journey home, it's also about us, about our journey within. A journey that can be as adventurous as a quest in the magical land of Oz, or as calming as drifting off into the embrace of sleep. Now, dear friends, Before we embark on this enchanting journey through the land of Oz, let's ensure we're comfortable and ready for sleep. You see, the best way to fully embrace this sleepy voyage is by inviting peace and tranquility into our minds and bodies. Find a quiet, comfortable place where you can lie down and rest. It could be your bed, your couch, or even a cozy nook in your home. Just ensure that it's a space where you feel safe and undisturbed. Close your eyes and imagine yourself sinking gently into a cloud. Let it support you, envelop you. The outside world and its concerns are now far below. To further foster this state of mindfulness and relaxation, we're going to do a simple breathing exercise. Just follow my voice. Take a slow, deep breath in. Feel your chest and belly rise as you fill them with fresh, rejuvenating air. Hold that breath for a moment. Now, J, 
gently exhale. Releasing all the tension and stress with the outgoing breath. Let's repeat this a few times. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Feel the rhythm of your breath as it guides you deeper into tranquility. Each inhale bringing peace and each exhale carrying away your worries. Excellent. Notice how every breath makes you feel more relaxed, more present. This is the ideal state for our sleepy voyage through the enchanting land of Oz. Remember, during our story, if your mind begins to wander, you can always return to your breath. It's your anchor in this journey, connecting you to the here and now. Let's take one last deep breath together before we begin. Breathe in. And breathe out. Very good, dear voyagers. I'm thrilled to see you're all prepared. Now let's set sail on the seas of dreams and embark on a journey of self-discovery with Dorothy and her companions in the land of Oz. And now, my friends, as you settle into this cozy space you've created for yourself, I want to help set the stage for our voyage tonight. Our journey together through the land of Oz is not just an exploration of a magical realm beyond the rainbow, but also a journey within. Each character we meet, every challenge we face, is a reflection of the strengths we carry within ourselves, often undiscovered until we have the courage to look. The intent for this session, dear listener, is twofold. Our first goal is to discover, to unveil the hidden depths of our own character, mirrored in Dorothy's companions and her own brave heart. Just as the scarecrow discovers wisdom, the Tin Man uncovers empathy, and the Lion summons courage, we too will explore these facets within us. Our second goal, and equally as important, is peaceful sleep. Before we tuck you in tonight, voyagers of the night sky, we have a small but crucial request. As your eyelids grow heavy and the soothing tones of sleepy voyages guide you to the realm of dreams, remember the peace, serenity and comfort that we bring to you every night. Just as a lighthouse guides lost ships in the darkness, your reviews help other restless dreamers find their way to us. By leaving a review and sharing your thoughts on your experience, you are reaching out to other insomniacs lost in the night guiding them towards restful sleep. Take a moment before you drift away to click on the Leave a Review button on your podcast app. Help us extend our galaxy of tranquility to all those who seek the solace of sound sleep. And once you've done that, feel free to slip back under the covers of our sleep stories, ready to be whisked away on another sleepy voyage. Remember, your stars light the way for others. Every review, every rating, helps us create a bigger, more beautiful universe of peace and rest. With each moment, as the story unfolds, let it lull you into a state of deep relaxation. Each word, each gentle breath you take, is a step closer towards the calm and quiet of sleep. Let the rhythm of this tale become the soft lullaby that carries you into dreams. Together, we embark on this journey of self-discovery, softly guided by the promise of a peaceful slumber. This is our voyage through the land of dreams into the heart of who we truly are. So now, let's take a deep breath. And let go. Ready to step onto the golden road of the land of Oz and deep into the landscape of our dreams. Now, as we stand on the brink of our sleepy voyage tonight, I invite you to start by focusing on your breath. 
your breath, that constant companion on your journey of life. It's a simple yet profound practice that invites relaxation and tranquility. This is the perfect way to embark on our sleepy voyage to the land of Oz. Close your eyes, my friends. You are safe here in this space we share. Let the world outside fade away and bring your awareness inward to your breath. Just notice it, the in and the out, the rise and fall of your chest. You don't have to change anything. Simply observe the ebb and flow of your breath like gentle waves on a calm sea. Each inhale brings energy and life into your body, while each exhale is an opportunity to let go, to release any tension or stress that might be lingering from your day. As you exhale, imagine it leaving your body, flowing away, leaving you calmer, lighter and more relaxed. Focus on the sensation of the breath as it enters through your nose, fills your lungs and then leaves your body. Feel the coolness of the inhale, the slight warmth of the exhale. It's a comforting rhythm, a song that your body has been singing since the moment you were born. Breath is the essence of life, yet something we often take for granted. Tonight, on this sleepy voyage, we honor our breath. We find tranquility in its steady rhythm, and we use it as an anchor, grounding us in this moment and guiding us deeper into the realms of relaxation and sleep. Breathe in. Hold for a moment. Breathe out. That's it, you're doing wonderfully. As we focus on our breath, we open the door to relaxation. We prepare ourselves for the journey to the land of Oz and our discovery of the wisdom, empathy, courage, and the sense of home that resides within us. Remember, dear Voyager, your breath is a tool that you carry with you always, like a gentle whisper from your body, reminding you to slow down, to be present, to find peace within yourself. Just breathe and let it guide you on this journey, our journey through the night towards the magic that awaits in sleep. Now, as we continue on this voyage together, I want you to bring your focus to your body. Imagine you're on a quiet beach. The sand beneath you is soft and warm and each wave that rolls in is gentle, like a lullaby sung by the earth itself. Let's start from the very bottom, your toes. Try to sense every small detail, the texture of your socks, the temperature of the room, the slight tension as you wiggle them. Now, gently allow them to rest. As you do this, Imagine the warm sand between your toes, sinking slightly with each breath you take. Now, let's move to your feet. Feel the arch of your foot relaxed, your heels grounding you to the earth. As your feet relax, picture the gentle waves washing over them, taking away any tension you may feel. Slowly, we move to your legs. First, the calves, then your knees, and then your thighs. As each part of your leg relaxes, imagine the cool sea breeze lightly brushing against them, leaving a trail of relaxation. Let's shift our attention to the torso. Unclench any tension in your stomach your chest. Feel the rhythm of your breath, the rise and fall of your chest. Imagine the rhythm sinking with the calm waves lapping against the shore. And now your arms. Feel the weight in your fingertips, 
your palms, your forearms, and let it go. Each wave that retreats, imagine it pulling the weight with it, leaving your arms feeling light and serene. Let your shoulders drop, any hunched posture, any tightness, let it all soften. Imagine the gentle sun overhead, its warm rays melting any tension in your shoulders. Finally, we move to the neck, the face, the top of your head. Unfurrow your brow, part your teeth, and let your eyes rest. Envision a soft cloud above you, casting a soothing shadow, aiding in your relaxation. Remember, this relaxation is not about forcing yourself to sleep. It's about preparing your body, calming it, aligning it with your mind, and readying yourself for the journey of self-discovery that awaits in the land of Oz. Take one more deep breath, sinking deeper into relaxation, deeper into the warm sand of the beach. In this state of tranquility, we are ready to begin our voyage, ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery through the enchanting world of Oz. So, let's gently sail into our story. And now, as we continue on this restful journey together, I'd like to invite you to visualize a calming, peaceful environment where you feel completely safe and secure. Imagine a place that instills you with peace, perhaps somewhere you have been or somewhere you've always dreamed of going. Let's begin. Visualize a beautiful, enchanting forest. It's like no other forest you've seen before, lush and vibrant. Tall, majestic trees rise all around you their leaves a startling mix of emerald green and bright silver. The leaves shimmer softly as they catch the gentle light, creating a soothing, mesmerizing pattern. The air around you is cool and fresh, the scent of the earth mixed with the sweet aroma of wildflowers. You hear the calming sound of leaves rustling gently in the wind, like a lullaby whispered by the forest itself. The rustling leaves are in harmony with your breathing, slowly in, slowly out, creating a symphony of peace and tranquility. You feel the ground beneath you, soft and inviting, covered in a carpet of lush green grass. Picture your toes digging into the cool, soft earth, grounding you in this serene oasis. In the distance, you see a clear, sparkling stream. The soft babbling of water over the rocks adds to the forest's soothing symphony. You see the water, clear and inviting, meandering gently through the woods, sparkling in the soft light. This is your sanctuary. This is your calming environment, a haven from the outside world. It's a place where you can embark on a magical journey. A journey of self-discovery and growth. Feel the peace and tranquility of this place seep into you, filling you with calm, quiet energy. As we journey through the land of Oz together, remember this place. Hold it in your mind and your heart. It will guide you and keep you centered grounded and at peace. In this serene place, let yourself relax fully. Prepare to drift into the world of our story and explore the enchanting, mysterious and magical land of Oz. Let this calm, serene environment set the mood for our journey. Remember, dear voyagers, this is your sleepy voyage into the soothing realm of dreams and self-discovery. 
Now, dear dreamer, let's take a journey to a place called Oz. Imagine, if you will, a land blanketed with fields of brilliant, sparkling emerald green. A vibrant horizon stretching as far as the eye can see, kissed by a double rainbow arching through the sky. It's a place where houses spin, dogs talk, and where roads aren't just roads, they're shimmering paths of yellow brick, leading you on towards the adventure of a lifetime. In the distance, amidst the rolling hills of the verdant landscape, you can see a towering castle, its spires shimmering with an otherworldly glow. This is the Emerald City, the heart of Oz, where the mysterious and mighty wizard resides. And yet, despite the grandeur and the magic that fills the air, Oz is not just a place of wonder, it's also a place of self-discovery. In this fantastical land, those who dare to journey through its realms learn more about themselves than they could in any other place. It's a place where scarecrows seek wisdom, tin men search for empathy, lions yearn for courage, and young girls from Kansas discover that there really is no place like home. Yes, dreamer, the land of Oz is much more than a place of enchantment. It's a mirror of our own inner worlds, our desires, our fears, and our boundless potential for growth. It's a realm where every adventure brings us closer to who we truly are. So, as we step into this magical land, remember that you too are embarking on a journey of self-discovery. Now let's venture into the heart of our story. Dorothy, a young girl from Kansas, found herself in a situation that perhaps some of us can resonate with. She was lost in an unfamiliar world. A powerful cyclone had lifted her and her little dog Toto from the comforting familiarity of their home, transporting them to a land that was not just different. It was magical, mysterious, and somewhat unsettling. It was a place called Oz. Imagine, if you will, the sudden array of colors, the strange creatures, the unusual landscapes, and above all, the startling realization that you are far from the known, far from the ordinary, far from home. Imagine being Dorothy, surrounded by the extraordinary, the incomprehensible, the enchanting. This is the moment where the whispers of fear blend with the thrill of adventure. Dorothy, our little heroine, was lost. But remember, my dear voyagers, being lost is not necessarily a misfortune. Sometimes it's the beginning of a new journey, a voyage of self-discovery. It's an invitation to explore, to learn, to grow, and to find one's way back. In our lives, we may often find ourselves feeling lost, perhaps not physically like Dorothy, but in other subtle ways. We may feel lost in our thoughts, lost amidst the crossroads of decision-making, or lost in understanding who we truly are. And that's okay. It's more than okay. It's a sign that you are evolving, changing, and ready to embark on your own journey of self-discovery. Remember, every adventure begins with a single uncertain step. And so, our young Dorothy, feeling lost and perhaps a little afraid, began her journey in the magical land of Oz. Little did she know, she was about to discover strengths she didn't know she possessed. Friendships she didn't expect to form. And most importantly, she was about to learn more about herself. You know, friends, we've all been there, in the shoes of our dear Dorothy, lost in some way or another. Perhaps you're feeling it right now, this sensation of being adrift, not in a magical world like Oz, but in your own life, in your own journey. As you lie there with the gentle rhythm of your breath rising and falling, I want you to allow yourself to connect with this feeling. Let's not shy away from it, but instead, embrace it. It's a strange thing, isn't it, to feel lost, especially when you're in your own bed, your safe haven, it might feel as though you're stuck in a maze with no clear way out, 
or floating in an open sea without a compass. It's a confusing place to be, but remember, dear voyagers, it's okay to feel this way. We're all human, and part of being human is experiencing these moments of uncertainty, of feeling adrift or even lost. And yet, if we delve into the pages of The Wizard of Oz, we find that it was in this state of loss that Dorothy discovered the most about herself. As the story unfolds, Dorothy moves from confusion to clarity, from feeling lost to finding her way home. Just like Dorothy, these moments where we feel lost might just be the beginnings of our own path to self-discovery. So tonight, as you lay there under the gentle glow of your own moon and the stars that twinkle in your personal night sky, I want you to embrace this feeling. Breathe into it. And remember that sometimes it's okay not to have all the answers. It's okay to be lost because it is within these moments that we open ourselves to the possibility of discovery, of learning and of personal growth. Hold on to these thoughts as we venture deeper into the magical world of Oz, just as Dorothy did. Let's embark on a journey of self-discovery. As you prepare to venture into this world, remember, dear friends, in every journey of the night, there is a dawn of self-discovery waiting for us. As Dorothy looks around, bewilderment filling her eyes, she knows she is no longer in the familiar comfort of her Kansas home. She's lost in a place that is alien to her, a world filled with vibrant colors and magical beings, the land of Oz. She may feel fear, she may feel uncertainty, but within her beats a brave heart, a heart ready for an adventure, a journey. Just like Dorothy, we too may find ourselves in unknown territories in life, feeling lost and uncertain. The unfamiliarity of it all can sometimes be daunting, can't it? Just like you, under your soft blankets, in the quiet of the night, exploring the contours of your mind and the depth of your thoughts. It's a land unknown, a land that only you can traverse. Now, as Dorothy stands on the yellow brick road, she is unaware of the wonderful journey that lies ahead of her. She's about to embark on a voyage of self-discovery, just like the one we're on tonight. The yellow brick road that weaves through the land of Oz is much like the path of self-discovery we're all on. It's winding and filled with surprises, but it always leads us to somewhere meaningful. Sometimes it takes us to the parts of ourselves we've forgotten, and other times, it brings us face to face with our deepest desires and fears. So tonight, as you lie comfortably in your bed, let's join Dorothy on her journey. Feel the gentle texture of the yellow bricks under your feet. Look up to the Emerald City glowing in the distance and listen to the soft whispers of the wind as it rustles through the fields of poppies. You're on the brink of something magical a voyage that takes you deeper within yourself. As the moon outside your window bathes the world in a soft glow, remember, dear listener, you're about to embark on a similar journey right here in the safety and comfort of your bed. This journey, like Dorothy's, is a journey of self-discovery, a journey that will bring you face to face with your own courage, wisdom and heart. And when you wake up tomorrow, just like Dorothy, you'll know a little bit more about yourself than you did before. In the hush of this night, let's take the first step on this yellow brick road, one step at a time, one breath at a time. Remember, there's no rush. Just like the gentle rhythm of your breath, let's move at our own pace. As we journey through the land of Oz, let the soothing imagery lull you into a tranquil slumber. Let's discover, dream, and drift into sleep. In the land of dreams, the journey of self-discovery continues. Dream of the emerald city that glows at the end of your very own yellow brick road. Now let's journey together, you and I, 
as we take a soft winding path in our voyage into the magical world of Oz. As Dorothy steps along this path, she encounters some unique and charming individuals, each bearing their own hopes and dreams, much like you and I. First, she meets the Scarecrow. Stuck in his field, he's yearning for wisdom, yearning for a brain. He wishes to know more, understand more. He longs to untangle the mysteries of the world around him. If I only had a brain, he sings, staring up into the sky with straw-filled dreams. And then there's the Tin Man. Once a human woodman, now an emblem of silver solitude, standing stiff in the forest. His wish is for a heart, a symbol of his deep desire to feel, to empathize, to love. If I only had a heart, he whispers, a silent plea echoing in his hollow chest. Last but not least, we find our friend, the cowardly lion, a beast meant to be king of the jungle, yet fears his own shadow. His heart yearns for courage. He wishes to roar fearlessly, to act boldly, to live confidently. If I only had the nerve, he laments, his large, sorrowful eyes revealing the depth of his longing. Each character you see mirrors a part of ourselves. The desire to learn and grow symbolized by the scarecrow, the longing for connection and empathy embodied by the tin man, and the quest for courage displayed so aptly by the cowardly lion. In this story, their wishes represent more than just whimsical wants. They symbolize the journey we are all on, a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. Just like them, we seek wisdom, empathy, and courage in our lives. And just like them, we'll find that the road to discovering these traits lies within our own hearts. Remember, dear listener, as we drift deeper into sleep and the world of dreams, we too embark on this journey of self-discovery towards a dawn of wisdom, empathy, and courage. So let's continue our sleepy voyage hand in hand with Dorothy and her new friends, deeper into the enchanting land of Oz. In our voyage today, we find ourselves standing next to Dorothy as she encounters the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion, each of them longing for something they believe they lack. The Scarecrow yearns for wisdom, the Tin Man aches for empathy, and the Lion, he craves courage. As you drift closer to the edge of dreams, I invite you to reflect on your own journey. What do you yearn for, dear listener? Do you seek wisdom, like our friend, the Scarecrow? Perhaps you desire empathy, the ability to feel and understand others more deeply, much like the Tin Man. Or maybe you're searching for courage, the bravery to face life's challenges, like our cowardly lion, wisdom, empathy, and courage. These are not just qualities, but pillars that hold our character. They help us understand ourselves better, connect with others more authentically, and bravely face our personal battles. But remember, these aren't traits to be found out there in some far-off land. No, they're treasures buried within us, waiting to be discovered, polished, and cherished. They're a part of your journey of self-discovery, so, dear voyager, as you listen to my words, as you sail on the calm sea of sleep, reflect on these qualities. Imagine the figures of the scarecrow, the tin man, and the cowardly lion standing in front of you, each with their own dreams, their own desires. Isn't it fascinating how each one of them reflects an aspect of ourselves? Take a deep, slow breath. That's it. As you exhale, I want you to imagine a brilliant, glowing light surrounding you. This light represents your inner self, your true essence. Now think about what you desire the most. Is it wisdom, 
like our dear scarecrow, or perhaps empathy, like the tin man, or courage, like the lion. Whichever it is, I want you to picture it vividly in your mind. See it as a symbol, an object, a word. Hold that symbol in the center of your glowing light. Can you see it? That's your own precious strength, waiting to be acknowledged, to be nurtured. Each one of us has these strengths within us, waiting to be discovered. Just like our friends in Oz, you too can embark on this journey of self-discovery, realizing that what you seek is already within you. It may be hidden, it may be quiet, but it's there. As you hold that symbol in your mind, I want you to remember this feeling, this moment of self-acknowledgement. Carry it with you as we continue our journey through the magical land of Oz. And as you embrace this part of yourself, let it guide you further into relaxation, further into the dream world of our sleepy voyages. There's no rush. There's no wrong or right way. There's only your journey, your path. Just like Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man and the Lion, you are on your unique road of self-discovery. Let's continue on this path together. As Dorothy and her companions continued their journey, their path was filled with more than the scent of the poppies and the gleam of the Emerald City. A shadow loomed, a shadow that took the form of the Wicked Witch of the West. This is not just a tale of magic and far-off lands, my dear listener. Like the threads woven in a tapestry, our own lives are interlaced with the shadowy figures of fear and challenge. The Wicked Witch, in this sleepy tale of Oz, is a symbol. She stands for the trials we face, the mountains we climb, and the fears that whisper in our ears when the night is at its darkest. The Wicked Witch was determined, fierce, and relentless. She conjured fields of sleep-inducing poppies and sent winged monkeys to hinder their journey. Yet, each obstacle she set only brought Dorothy and her friends closer together, made them realize the strength within them. You see, the Wicked Witch did not know that every time she made things difficult for Dorothy and her friends, she was, in reality, guiding them to discover their courage, their wisdom, and their heart. So as we tread lightly in the land of dreams, remember that every Wicked Witch in our life is simply a guide, a catalyst. Yes, it's a challenge, but one that can help us find who we truly are and how strong we can be. Each encounter is an opportunity for growth, for bravery, and for wisdom. Every Wicked Witch is a beacon, shedding light on the path of self-discovery. So let's walk that path together as we step deeper into our emerald dreams. Now, take a moment to breathe in, and out. Embrace the soothing darkness and let yourself drift a little deeper into tranquility. Close your eyes and imagine that with each breath you're stepping forward on your own yellow brick road, heading towards your emerald city, your dreams. But remember, the journey is as precious as the destination. And with that thought, Let's continue our voyage through the sleepy world of Oz. And so, dear listeners, we find Dorothy and her friends standing face to face with the Wicked Witch of the West. They are gripped by fear. The witch embodies everything they've been afraid of on their journey. But remember, in our own lives too, we encounter our own versions of the Wicked Witch. These may not come in the form of an actual person, but as situations, events, or personal challenges that seem too intimidating to face. Picture your own Wicked Witch. It could be a fear of failure or rejection, or perhaps a fear of not being good enough. Whatever shape or form your fear takes, visualize it clearly in your mind. It's okay if it feels uncomfortable. Acknowledging our fears is the first step in overcoming them. 
Now imagine yourself, much like Dorothy and her friends, standing tall and facing your fear. Despite the terror it may invoke, you hold your ground. You are stronger than you know, more capable than you give yourself credit for. Breathe in deeply. And as you breathe out, imagine a protective aura, a brilliant white light surrounding you, empowering you. It gives you the courage to face your fear, to stand up to your wicked witch. Keep breathing in and out. With each exhale, you are pushing your fears away, reducing them, overcoming them. And with each inhale, you are drawing in strength, resilience, courage. As you stand there, facing your fear, remember that you are not alone on this journey. Just as Dorothy had the scarecrow, the tin man, and the cowardly lion, you too have people in your life who support you, who stand by you. Feel their presence with you, backing you, bolstering your courage. Feel your fear diminishing, your courage rising. You are more than your fears, more than your doubts. You are capable, strong and resilient. Like Dorothy and her friends, you too can overcome the Wicked Witch. You too can continue on your journey of self-discovery, of finding your true strength and potential. Now, as we let the image of the Wicked Witch fade away, remember this feeling of courage. Hold on to it. Let it guide you not only in your dreams tonight, but in your waking life as well. Let it remind you that no matter what fears you face, you have the power within you to overcome them. Now, as Dorothy and her friend's journey takes a twist, they find themselves face to face with the Wicked Witch of the West. As we picture the scene, Allow the rhythmic beats of your heart to mimic the ticking of a timeless clock, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, time continues its comforting march and peace is never too far away. Imagine the dark silhouette of the Wicked Witch, an embodiment of the fears and challenges we encounter in our life. But instead of feeling fear, imagine her as a shadow that grows smaller and less intimidating as you confront her. Each breath you take is a step forward, reducing the shadow's size, a symbol of your growing courage and resilience. Like Dorothy and her friends, the confrontation is inevitable, a part of our journey. But remember, the journey itself is more about learning and growth than the challenges we face. So envision yourself in Dorothy's shoes, her courage flowing within you. Feel your body relax more with each breath as you face the witch. Your eyelids might grow heavier, and that's perfectly all right. Allow this feeling to wash over you, nurturing a sense of calm. See the witch as less of a fearsome creature and more of a stepping stone on your path to self-discovery. Each challenge we face, each fear we confront, is just another opportunity to learn more about ourselves to discover our inner strengths and to grow. Picture the confrontation now, not as a tense standoff, but rather as a dance, a dance where every step you take in rhythm with your breath brings you closer to peace. Feel the tension leaving your body as you sway with the music, your heart keeping time. Throughout all this, maintain the serenity of our journey. It's important not to let any imagined turbulence disturb our tranquil voyage. With each breath in, soak in courage 
and with each breath out. Release fear. The confrontation with the witch is merely a part of the journey, not the end. So let's continue on, gently, peacefully, with courage in our hearts and the wisdom to know that every challenge faced is a step further on our journey of self-discovery. Finally, my dear voyagers, our weary travelers come upon the moment they've all been waiting for. After much anticipation and trepidation, they find themselves standing in front of the grand and mysterious Wizard of Oz. The Emerald City's shimmering green lights cast a soft mystical glow in the air as they hold their breath and step forward. The mighty wizard, a larger-than-life figure, echoes through the halls, his voice resonating with an authoritative and magical aura. The grandeur is overwhelming, and the nervous companions tremble in his awe-inspiring presence. Yet as the wizard speaks, a remarkable revelation unfurls itself. As he addresses each character, he mirrors back to them the very qualities they believed they lacked. The Scarecrow, desperate for wisdom, had shown intelligence in every step of their journey. The Tin Man, longing for a heart, had demonstrated empathy and kindness at every turn. The Lion, in search of courage, had proven his bravery over and over again. In the Grand Hall of the Wizard, they realize that the qualities they sought were already within them. They had shown wisdom, empathy, courage, and more throughout their journey. And dear Dorothy, our young adventurer from Kansas, had shown exceptional leadership and resilience in navigating through a world so far from home. The realization strikes like a gentle ripple echoing through their hearts and minds. Isn't it? Ironic, dear listeners, how often we seek from the outside what we already possess on the inside. How often do we doubt our abilities, overlooking the very qualities that make us who we are. The wizard, in his grandeur, holds a mirror to their souls, reflecting the strength within. The meeting with the wizard marks a turning point in their journey of self-discovery. But let's take a pause here. Let's take a moment to acknowledge that the wizard was not what he appeared to be. Yet it was his perceived greatness that prompted them and prompts us to look within and recognize our true worth. Take a moment now, dear voyagers. Imagine standing in front of your own wizard what qualities do you see mirrored back at you? Wisdom, courage, compassion. As we drift closer to the world of dreams, allow these revelations to illuminate your path. Your journey of self-discovery is as enchanting as the magical world of Oz, and you, my dear listener, are the hero of your own story. Now that we know the wizard was not as he seemed, it's important to acknowledge that our journey of self-discovery often requires a deep personal self-recognition. You see, much like the wizard, we often hide behind our own curtains, projecting an image to the world that might not truly align with our inner selves. But our authentic selves, our truest strengths, lie behind those curtains, waiting to be discovered. Let's take a moment now to breathe, Relax and seek to understand our innermost selves. Take a deep breath in and out. Feel your body loosen as you let go of any pretenses you might be holding on to. Just as the wizard let go of his facade, allow yourself to gently release any masks you wear, any roles you perform. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's move forward on our journey, dear voyagers. It's time to recognize your own strengths. In each one of us, there's wisdom, love, courage, and so much more. Just as Dorothy and her friends discovered, these strengths have always been inside us, 
waiting to be discovered, acknowledged and nurtured. Imagine your own wisdom. Your own heart. Your own courage. Growing brighter with each breath you take. In and out. Can you see your strengths glowing softly, warmly? They're there within you as they've always been. Each strength is a gem of self-discovery, twinkling in the vast inner universe that is you. Can you see them now, glowing, shimmering? You are a constellation of strength, wisdom, courage, and love. Remember this image, keep it close to your heart. When you wake, whether in the morning or in a moment of need, remember these stars within you. They'll guide you on your journey, always leading you home to yourself. Imagine yourself standing in the middle of the yellow brick road, stretching out endlessly before you. The landscape around you, the emerald city behind, and the vast fields ahead mirror your own journey of self-discovery. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the air fill your lungs, energizing every cell. And as you breathe out, let the air carry away all your worries, fears, and anxieties. You've walked this path bravely, just like Dorothy, and each step has led you towards understanding yourself better. Much like her, you've had your moments of doubt, moments of fear, but remember, it's through these moments that we learn and grow. Now, picture in your mind the scarecrow, the tin man, and the cowardly lion. They sought a brain, a heart, and courage, only to discover that they had these within them all along. Just like them, you possess all that you need within you. Take another deep breath in and out. With each breath, let the realization sink deeper that you have the wisdom, the love, and the courage within you to overcome any challenge. Visualize yourself now walking towards the vast fields, moving further away from the Emerald City. You're at peace because you know that wherever this road takes you, you are capable of handling it. You trust the journey because you trust yourself. And now, it's time to let go. Just like Dorothy, who clicked her ruby red slippers and repeated, There's no place like home. Allow yourself to drift towards your home, your resting place. Breathe in deeply, filling your lungs with tranquility. And as you breathe out, allow yourself to let go of the yellow brick road. Let it gently fade as you sink further into the soft, comforting darkness. You are safe. You are peaceful. The journey of self-discovery continues, even as you rest. Just like Dorothy, you have the power within you. Believe in it. Rest in it. As you drift off into sleep, remember, there's no place like the home within you. Sweet dreams, dear voyagers, in the emerald dreams of your own self-discovery. <laughs>